A mother's emotional plea for change after her 11 year old daughter died days after she was hit by a car on her way to school. It's just not right. Only 11 years old. Her life hasn't even begun yet. I don't want any other parents or children to have to go through this. Just awful. We told you about that crash when it happened last Thursday in a crosswalk near Grange Middle School. The driver involved was arrested for DUI. Thanks for staying with us at 5 30. I'm Marley Ginter. And I'm Curtis Ming, CBS 13's Madison TV, with a request now from the young girl's family. Just a few feet away from this memorial in honor of Tara Star Jackson, the crosswalk that her mother tells me needs safety changes and fast. Today, the balloons and flowers a reminder to drivers slow down. We nicknamed her Kissy because. <laughs> Just a lovable child. Tara Jackson, nicknamed Kissy, remembered by her school community. One reads, Fly high, my sweet angel, just a few feet from where the Grange Middle Schooler was hit by a suspected drunk driver on her way to school last week. She would say she was going to be a doctor when she grew up because she wanted to fix all the people's hearts that had broken hearts. Her mom, Barbara, told me the family took the 11 year old off life support over the weekend and donated her organs. But they hope this won't be her only legacy. They don't have speed bumps, they don't have a cross guard. All of these things should be in place. The crosswalk near East Tabor Avenue near Blossom Court doesn't have a crossing guard. It's not going to bring her back, but like I said, it will make be prevent any other parent mm -hmm. or child to have to go through that. Out for our own answers, a popular education job website lists a dozen crossing guard positions open in this school district and nearby. A school district spokesperson told CBS 13 in a statement, like so many schools, they face severe staffing shortages and are recruiting for these positions. Safety upgrades are in the works through Fairfield's Safe Routes to School project that includes work like installing concrete curb extensions, rapid flashing beacons at crosswalks, traffic signal modifications, and traffic stripping. Some of that work in progress near Grange Middle School feet from the accident site when it happened through today. People use common sense and slow down. I mean, it's important that we get from point A to point B, but let's do it safely.